His name is Gary Myers. He is our current champion. If he beats his next opponent, he will win his third brand new car, which will bring his total winnings to close to $85,000. We'll find out how he makes out in a moment as from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. This is the new Tic-Tac-Do. Thank you so much. Well, we have a big winner here with $78,450, and let's meet him close up now. He's a good-looking devil, he is. Jay, would you do it again, please? My pleasure, Wink. Our current champion has winnings that total to date in cash and prizes, $78,450. He's a law student. Meet Gary Myers. And his opponent is an attorney who is working for the California State Controller's Office. He enjoys swimming and jogging. Meet David White. Ah, oh, Gary, you snuck out and bought a new jacket. I knew I haven't seen that one on the show. Or you've been holding back on us, right? No, that's just in your honor. Really? Yes. Went out and spent the heavy coal. Well, you got a lot to spend, $78,450. You used to be a... Well, you're a university student now studying law, but you were a hospital orderly uh, in this country at a hospital? Or? Right, in suburban Philadelphia, in Upper Darby. And you did go to Vietnam, didn't you not? Yes, uh, I was a hospital orderly for about six months, and then I got my greetings from Uncle Sam. Well, we greet you back here with 78 big ones plus with the opportunity to win another car if you defeat your next opponent. And that opponent is this guy right here, David Weiss. David uh, has to almost these days take second place to his wife because she's seated out here in the audience. We'll probably meet her a little later. But she's expecting a little one. And what's her name, David? Jeannie. Jeannie, hi. How are you? She looks a little anxious, David. How close is she to having her little bambino? Mm, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I would strongly suggest that we move along. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. You beat David Weiss, and you'll win your third new car, Gary. You know that. You're all set. Let's take a look at the categories we'll be dealing with on this edition of Tic-Tac-Toe. Cars, chemistry, religions, nicknames, bearded men, symbols, female singers, spelling, and Great Britain. Gary is our champion. Of course, you go first. Where you want to place that first X? Let's start right in the middle with bearded men. Bearded men. Here's your question, Gary. It's worth $300. A little harder, but I'll give you a little extra time for your answer. Many sports stars have grown beards. I'll give you the names of two of these bearded sports stars, and you give me their sports, okay? First, the former UCLA superstar, Bill Walton. Two, the former Rookie of the Year, Franco Harris. Think about that. <laughs> Gary, I'm giving you the name of the bearded superstars in sports. You give me what they play. The former UCLA superstar, Bill Walton. Basketball. Right. The former Rookie of the Year, Franco Harris. Football. Right. Put it up to the center box. $300 in the pot, and let's move the categories around. Quick shuffle, keep it up. And David, of course, it's your turn. Let's try bearded men, please, in the upper left-hand corner. All right, different position, same category, bearded men. This bearded world leader set up the world's first communist dictatorship in Russia after leading the October Revolution of 1917. David, name him, and we'll put an O on the board for you. Tolstoy? No, Lenin. Lenin. So we move the categories around, still $300 in the pot, and we go back to you, Gary. Well, let's try nicknames in the lower left. First time the category of nicknames. Gary, one of the most beautiful women in Greek mythology was Helen. She has often been referred to as the face that launched a thousand ships. With what city is she commonly associated? Troy. Yes, Helen of Troy. So we put an X there and move the categories again. Add another $300 to the pot, make it 500 bucks. David. Well, I've got my back to the wall. I'll have to go with female singers in the upper right-hand corner to block. All right, answer this. You'll block Gary. Female singers. 1971 was this singer-songwriter's year at the Grammy Awards, David. Tapestry was the album of the year. You've Got a Friend was the song of the year. And It's Too Late was the record of the year. For a block, name her. I know it. Carol King. You got it. That's right. Good for a block. Gary put an O there. Top right-hand corner. Let's shuffle the categories again. $700 in the pot. Gary, back to you. Well, let's try nicknames again in the upper left. Upper left for nicknames. Gary, some of the most famous marches ever written were composed by a composer band leader whose nickname was the March King. Name him. John Philip Sousa. You got it. And let's go there and let's shuffle again. $980 in the pot. David, select. Bearded men, please, Wink, in the lower right-hand corner. All right, for a block, bearded men. 
This popular television show featured actor Dan Haggerty as a bearded mountain man with a fondness for bears. For a block, name the show. Grizzly Adams. Right. Good for a block. So we had another $200 for the clock. Now remember, Gary, if you beat David, you're going to win your third automobile. And that'll bring your winnings to close to $85,000. Let's move the categories once more. We'll be back right after this commercial timeout. So far, you've won two very special prizes. And if you defeat David, you'll win a third. Tell us about it, Jay. It's a third brand new car. The Buick Skyhawk. Compact and firing V6 engine for smooth economical power, overall sporty styling and comfort. The Skyhawk. Okay, let's go back to the board now. Shuffle the categories around. $1,100 in the pot so far. And there are the four boxes remaining. Gary, select, please. Let's try Bearded Men to win. You've uh, tried that one a lot of times. This means a big win for you, Gary. If you answer the question on Bearded Men, you'll win $1,300 in cash. Another automobile. That would bring your grand total to $84,850. Gary, here's your question. When this bearded singer was recording with his group, The First Edition, they had hits with such songs as Reuben James and Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. In 1977, he had a number one hit with Lucille. For a total of $84,850, including your third car, name him. Kenny Rogers. Yes! For six Gary, it looked to me like you were having some problems coming up with that answer, but uh, then you, it, you made it sound so easy. Was there a problem there? Or? I, I did the inevitable wink. I knew Lennon, and I said, you know, go with your first thing, and I, of course, I did it. I said, Tolstoy. So yeah. it was just a case where I knew the answer, and uh, uh, the showbiz got to me. <laughs> How about you, Gary, with that uh, Kenny Rogers answer? Was that difficult for you? Until the very end of the question, yeah. And then it just came to you? Yeah. That's happened with a lot of contestants, according to what they've told us. Okay, Gary, congratulations. And uh, would you, you please, for those uh, of the audience who perhaps have not met her before on a prior show, introduce the lady on your right. This that is, is your wife, isn't it? Yes. My roommate, my wife, <laughs> my friend. This is Debbie. Hello, Debbie. <laughs> kind of nice to be back, isn't it? <laughs> Debbie and Gary with $84,850 with a chance now to beat the dragon. David, I want to wish you very, very well in your uh, uh, practice of law. I uh, hope perhaps we'll see you again. And also, we want to wish, what would you like, little boy, little girl? It's a cliche, but all we want is a healthy baby wink. We'll get just as much joy out of a boy as we will out of a girl. And we wish that for you both. Thank you very Thank much, you very David, much. and to your wife, we wish you both well. <laughs> David White and wife and company. Okay, Gary and Debbie, come on over. Let's speak the dress. <laughs> what is this? Every time that she has come up here to play the game with her husband, she has given me a little smooch. And this time she pulled away. Why did you do that? I have contracted a loathsome disease. I have a bad cold. Oh, you have a cold. And I don't want you to get it. That's all right. I will take second best. Well. <laughs> Hollywood. Da -da -da. <laughs> the Chamber of Commerce will love me for that. All right. Behind these. <laughs> Can we leave that in? Behind these numbers are various amounts of money and a dragon. All you have to do is get $1,000 or more, and uh, Jay, what will they win? Well, Gary, it's Tic Tac Toe's entertainment package. First for your musical entertainment, it's a stereo from Rotel and 20 Watt 555 music system, complete with AM, FM receiver and high-fidelity two-way speakers, designed for minimum space, furnished by Rotel. And so you won't be late for your entertainment. It's watches styled by Jules Jurgensen. For your wife, the ladies' 14 karat gold rectangular case and matching slim tapered bracelet. And for you, the latest in time, Gent Sports Analog Day Date and All Stainless Steel and a Micron Two Tone case with matching bracelet. Then, for endless hours of entertainment, it's a pool table. The Wellington model from Golden West Builders of North Hollywood. A regulation slate table complete with a deluxe accessory package for your playing enjoyment. And finally, Gary, for entertainment away from home. We're flying you to Las Vegas! The fattest, largest city in large, luxurious camp and casinos, busy nightlife, elaborate shows that attract tourists from around the world. 
You'll have a week's stay for two with the Maxim Hotel, a luxurious, shining new face in the heart of Las Vegas. 17 stories of the most elegant hotel on the famed Las Vegas Strip, furnished by the Maxim Hotel and Casino. And Gary, this exciting entertainment package is worth in cash and prizes almost $3,400. So away we go, trying to find those magic numbers that add up to a thousand. Stay away from the dragon, or you lose everything, get the tick and the tack, and you automatically get the dough. So we move them all around, cover them up, and Debbie, don't get too close now, Debbie. I have a cold. Two. Number two. All right, little dudes, top center. What do we find behind number two? Is it money? Well, it's tick. That almost means money. Add that to the tack, and you got an automatic win. All right, Gary. Try number nine. I'm gonna go for number nine, all right? What's behind number nine? Number nine shows us $400. All right, now you keep the 400 or you're not going to stop, are you? I won't even ask. What are they saying? Is that a friend of yours? I see you're saying number three, the girl in the yellow. The girl in the yellow, and you're going to go along with her? Do you know that girl? You're just going to go along with her anyway, all right? Number three. What's behind number three? They need $600. 300 that's half of it. So you got 700 and 300 more attacks to go with tick. Four. You gonna go with four? Do we have an agreement here? All right. Number four, you need three hundred dollars or tack. Let's see if we can find it behind number four. Tack. There it is. Congratulations, Jerry. I don't care. I the heck with the cold. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look at the rest of the board and see where the dragon was. One, five, six, seven, and eight. And the dragon was behind number five, which of course is the beginning point for a for you a lot of times. You what? I almost called number five. There were a lot of people out in the audience saying five. Everybody was saying number five, right? There was the girl in the yellow saying number five. No, no. Well. She gave you a lucky number right at the beginning. All right, your cash and prizes now comes up to a very, very nice, tidy sum, and I'll give it to you right now. $88,250 in cash and merchandise. $88,250. We're going to take a commercial break, and then we'll join Gary over here as he meets a new opponent. We'll be right back. Jay, who's it going to be? Well, Wick, this gentleman is in his last year of law school, and he enjoys playing tennis and the guitar. Meet Phil Selway. Hello, Phil. Hi, Wink. You're going to be a lawyer. What kind of law are you going to practice, Phil? Well, I'm keeping my options open, Wink. Are there any, um, how can I put this? Are there any <laughs> ladies in your life? Well, I'm kind of keeping those options, too, but it's kind of hard sometimes. Why? Why is that? Well, I find the closer I get to graduating from school, the more, um, shall I say, marriage-minded females I find. And uh, I do have to fight them off once in a while. Fight them off with a stick, huh? <laughs> the guitar. Is anybody in the audience single who would be l helping this man get rid of this albatross from around his neck? It's terrible. Terrible the things we have to put up with in life. Phil, right? Really. Let's it's take rough. a look at our categories for this game. Phil and Gary, we're going to be dealing with the subjects, which are clothes styles, comic strips, colors, U.S. Geography, the 50s, television stars, art, foreign writers, and basketball. Gary, select, please. Well, I definitely was around during the 50s, so let's start there. Okay, the 50s in the center were $300 to the pot. In 1959, this former lawyer led his rebel forces into his country's capital and overthrew the dictator who had been in power for many years. First, name the rebel leader and name the dictator who was overthrown. Think about that. <laughs> Gary, I don't think you need me to uh, repeat the question because you were going like this, up and down with the head. Name the rebel leader I was talking about. Fidel Castro. Right. Name the dictator who was overthrown. Fulgencia Batista. Right. Good for the center bar. Put it up there. $300 to and Let's shuffle. <laughs> Move them around. Okay, Phil Selway, your first chance to try to knock this man off. Okay, I'll try the lower right-hand corner TV stars. Television stars. Okay, here's your question, Phil. Take a look at this picture, please. This photograph shows a famous television detective and his able assistant. Name the detective, and you'll name the series. Barnaby Jones. Right. The actor's Buddy Edson. The actor's Lee Merriweather. Let's move the categories again. $200 in the pot. Takes it to five. Gary, for you. Let's try the 50s again. Going to go back to the 50s? All right. Second time in the category on December 1st, 1955. This civil rights activist led a black boycott of the segregated bus system in Montgomery, Alabama. By December 21st, desegregated bus service had begun. Name this black leader, Gary. Dr. Martin Luther King. Right. 
So we put an X there and move the categories again. $700 in the pot. Bill. Uh, I've got to go with the lower left, basketball to block. All right, basketball for a block. And to this, you'll block Gary between 1970 and 1977. This great center won the NBA Most Valuable Player Award four times. For a block, name him. Wilt Chamberlain? No, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh. Laker, center. So you failed a block. Let's move the category. Still $700 in the pot. We shuffle and go back to Gary. Let's try TV stars to win. If you answer the question on TV stars, you'll pick up $900, Gary. Added to your prior winnings, your total would then be $89,150. Take a look at this picture, Gary. This talented young actress is part of a popular television family. For a total of $89,150, name her. Christy McNichol. Right. The series is family. I don't know, sometimes Gary uh, knocks off these contestants so fast, he does make it look easy. $89,150 in cash and merchandise. Gary, congratulations Thank once you. again. Phil, I hope you win those cases better than you won I know. <laughs> this particular game of tic-tac-toe. However, it was a fun game. You just missed that one question, which was very important to you. Thank you for being with us. We have a couple of nice going away prizes for you, and good luck in all your future Great. cases. Thank you very much. And also in finding that lucky lady. Okay, Gary, come on over. Welcome back. Here we are again. You know what you're looking for. If you're looking for $1,000 or more, get ticker check. You got an automatic win. Of course, you're going to be picking numbers, but first, let's listen to the prizes you can go for. What do we have? Gary, it's Tic Tac Toe's gifts for the home package. First, you'll prepare meals with a feel on this microwave oven. From Gibson, a microwave oven with digital timer, defrost setting, solid state variable power control, and Gibson step sensor cooking probe. Gives you dependable, cool, clean, fast paced cooking. Then while dining, keep cool with this air conditioner. Whirlpool 7.5 amp high efficiency room air conditioner with comfort guard control, air direction changers, and energy saving settings. From Whirlpool Corporation, the next from Oneida Silversmiths, a beautiful assortment of showplace gifts for all your entertaining and gift giving needs, including your choice of luxurious stainless flatware and silver plated hollowware from Oneida. Then for easy cleanups, it's a dishwasher. A deluxe convertible dishwasher with the energy saver control that saves in electricity. Seven push buttons provide up to 18 cycle selections. Solid cherry cutting board from White Westinghouse. Also, you'll solve that space problem with this powerful tap and trash compactor. Featuring simple safety key operation, the easy way to handle trash. Neat, handy, and easy to operate. It compresses trash to one quarter its normal volume, furnished by tap and appliances. And finally, Gary, for leisure time on laundry days, it's a washer and dryer. A deluxe speed queen washer with stainless steel top, three automatic wash cycles, and bleach dispenser. Plus matching gas or electric dryer with a special cool and tumble prune and press cycle. Both furnished by Speed Queen and McGraw Edison Company Division. And Gary, this gift for the home package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,650. Another $3,650 you can win. Here we go. You ready? All right. We'll team up against the dragon now. We've moved them all around, covered them up. You pick a number. Let's start with four. All right, number four. What do we find behind four? One, two, three, four, four hundred dollars. One hundred for each number. You need six hundred more dollars. All right, what does Debbie say? Debbie says one. Number one, right at the top. All right, what do we have behind number one? We have tax. All right, you know what that means. Let's go back to Debbie. Debbie? Debbie says eight. Number eight, bottom center. Let's look behind number eight. All he needs tick. 500. That takes it to $900. 900. Uh, so you need $100, of course, for Tick to go with that. All right. Debbie says seven. Let's try that. You were going to say six. She says seven. And he goes with her. All right. What's behind number seven? What do we need? $100 or Tick? 300. You got it. You went with your number rather than me. She said what, number six? She was going to call number six? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. yeah. All right, let's look behind numbers. Let's look at all the numbers, but let's see especially what was behind number six. See if you could have won there, or perhaps it could have been the dragon. Let's look behind everything on the board. There was Tick. Tick, tack, you'd have had a win there, but you went with seven. You got a win anyway. And, of course, the dragon was up there behind number two. So the prizes that Jay mentioned, plus the cash that you've just won, has a grand total for you now that is indeed grand, and I'm going to let you say it because I think you can put perhaps more gusto into it than me because it belongs to you. 
you have now won $93,000. All right. $93,000 in cash and prizes. We'll be back with more of Tic Tac Toe right after these words. The grand total won by our second highest winner, Peter DeVries. That was 127000 He's up to 93000 See if he can continue his winning ways on the next edition of Tic Tac Toe. Wink Martindale. Bye-bye, everybody. All my fighting contestants will receive the home game version of the new Tic Tac Toe, which is much fun playing it as watching it on TV. In addition, some of our Everybody contestants will receive Diet Parquet from Kraft. Has half the calories of regular margarine and a fresh, delicate taste. It's America's best-selling diet spread. And from Amity, a two-piece leather ensemble, including the checkbook clutch and Amity's tooled and antique vintage pattern. Now money and check writing all in your grasp. Plus QT suntan lotion by Copper Tone. Get your browner faster than it ever did before with the sun or on its own. Tan faster with QT. And Armor All Protectant slows aging on vinyl, rubber, wood, plastic, or leather. Protect things worth keeping with Armor All Protectant. Plus Sherwin-Williams Cam House Paint. Great coverage, great protection, great colors. Long-lasting Cam House Paint. And from Seabreeze, this handy tote, plus the family of Seabreeze skincare products, including Seabreeze Antiseptic Skin Lotion, Complexion Bar, and Breezettes.